So you might have gathered by now we were at Meathop Fell with Trev and Sue from Posh Cats Camping. And Trev's here with me now and he's kindly offered to show us round Smurf. Ah. And Smurf is a very distinctive van, isn't it? And particularly in this fetching blue. Yeah, you don't see many blue vans. No. Um, and uh, there are more and more van conversions and VWs coming along with bright colours. Yeah. Um, and uh, we fell in love with the blue one. So yeah. Um, yeah. It's actually quite a darker blue than I, I imagined. You know, yeah. I mean, we're a bit in the shade a little bit here, but yeah. uh, yeah. under the trees in the shade, it does go dark. But yeah. in the sunlight, it comes out quite a sky blue. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, with the silver uh, sides as well. Yeah. So it's. Um, so I haven't already realised it's the uh, the VW Crafter. Yeah. And uh, you may well see in the UK um, ones like this, bright red with parcel force <laughs> down the side. <laughs> and it's basically a commercial van. Yeah. Um, but converted into a home on wheels. Yeah. So, um, so what have you got up the front then, Drew? Up the front here, um, well, we, we, we're a two litre diesel engine um, with automatic. Uh, eight-speed automatic gearbox and 177 brake horsepower so it's quite a powerful unit yeah and uh, cruises beautifully 60 to 70 miles an hour on the motorways and uh, very comfortable to yeah. drive very yeah. car like yeah um, is that one of the things that attracted you to it then? it was yeah. and uh, as you know if you've been watching the posh cats camping channel and um, Bob and I have been, we've met before, haven't we, Bob? And yeah. we had very similar Swift Bolero yeah. vans. Yeah. Um, you've changed to your Contiki now, mm. and uh, we've downsized to, to this, and it's quite a big, um, we're either very brave or very stupid. Um, <laughs> but we're, we're not sure yet which is which. Uh, everyone would have an opinion on that, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. But it's quite a big move, and it, was, uh, it took a lot of uh, thought and, uh, and a, and a brave jump, really, mm. to uh, mm. come down to a smaller van. But um, uh, we liked it um, when we saw IH. Uh, it does um, come as a basic van, or you can add lots of extras. And we've had, as you see, the alley wheels. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they do a silver and a black, and we've chosen the black. Um, they're built in Nottingley and a small factory. It's family owned. It's up in and, Yorkshire, uh, isn't it? That's in Yorkshire, not far from Leeds and mm. Pontefract okay. on the A1. And uh, we've been back to see them since and uh, reported all is well. Yeah. Good. We only picked up the van in July. So it is a brand new yeah. uh, 2021 model. I think the most distinctive thing about the, this particular model of IH, they're not all the same, are they? Is mm -hmm. that they've replaced the siding door. Yeah, now this is what they call the N class at IH, and whereas you would normally, with the commercial van, you would normally have the sliding door here. Yeah, it's been replaced by the motorhome door. So it's a more familiar hardtail door. That's right, door. And, and as you can see, um, it's uh, <laughs> we've got friends. And it's got a dog with it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just pull that across, so he doesn't think he's time for a window. walk. Yeah. Um, as you can see, it's a standard, pretty standard um, motorhome door with the blind, and uh, we've got the electric step um, as well, which we can press a button and that slides in. Or when you turn the ignition on, um, the step folds up automatically. Yeah. Got the canopy and uh, motorhomes, uh, fairly standard. Uh, it's quite a long awning, isn't it? That covers canopy. Yeah. Most of it's your uh, four home, meters long. Yeah. yeah. The van itself, from bumper to bumper is 6.83 meters right okay. um, because we have a tow bar on the back yeah um, if we were to go uh, on a ferry we would have to yeah. claim seven meters right um, so um, that's about it um, in terms of uh, the sliding doors you can see there's a panel here yeah that replaces the sliding door entry yeah. so you've got the additional window it's done very well isn't it you don't really notice unless you point it out you can't see the join no that's it the joints here. That's right. <laughs> yep, yep, that's right. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of colour and, and shape, yeah. um, this is actually a fibre panel. Yeah. And this is the. That would be the metal. The metal yeah. band. So 
uh, although the, the dents, you know, it feels the same. Obviously, we've got a Dometic fridge on the inside, where yeah. the grill's there. We, we run a, an LPG um, gas system with an underslung tank. Yeah. So this is, is the that 25 litres? Um, it's the equivalent of about 11 or 12 kilograms. So, yes, I think that's true. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't, don't blow me with technology. No, no, Bob. sorry. You know. sorry. <laughs> I just know that's where you fill it up. Yeah. <laughs> you know when it's empty. <laughs> that's right. You've got a little gauge inside. Yeah. And we've, because um, we, we don't have any gas bottles, we have a, a barbecue point, yeah. which is um, yeah, if we want to use a Cadac or yeah. anything of that yeah, nature. Yeah, always useful. Yeah. yeah. So it's a rear lounge. As you can see, the, the kitchen is mid van yeah. and a rear lounge. And uh, so at the back, what we would normally see with the van you'd have, is big you'd barn have doors. doors wasn't you? Yeah. And there would be a divider here where one door would open this way and one the other. They would be as tall as you see the top of the van there, yeah. uh, big opening doors. But it's been replaced with another fibre panel here. Yeah. And this, um, this bottom section is a boot. So um, I can open the boot and you'll see all my clutter now. <laughs> All the camping equipment goes in here. So we've um, put, uh, we've got bagged stuff. So we've got things like tent pegs and uh, our hose, um, some collapsible buckets. Yeah. And in these other bags, we've got our thick winter coats and uh, some waterproof leggings and all so that sort of thing. You're fully prepared. You're, you're, you're not travelling exactly light, are you? Here, no, you've got no, your, no. There's, but you've still got your camping chair. There's quite stuff. a lot of space in here. Yeah. Um, I carry a, a 10 litre watering can because yeah. I'm too lazy to move the van yeah, sometimes yeah. Yeah. and I can top my fresh I might water. borrow that later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I carry two um, mains leads, yeah. one's a short one, which we're lucky we're near the post yeah. this time, yeah. and a 25 metre one. Um, this bag contains um, the silver screen, the yeah. external silver screen, yeah. and then we've got tables and chairs if we want to sit outside. So that goes a fair way back, that? that yeah, boot, it's the, it? the depth of the rear seat. Right, okay. Um, okay. Just and see. when we go inside, you'll probably see. the ladies see. in there, yeah. Yeah. And obviously tow bar. Tow bar here, yeah. yeah, and we do um, with the old uh, van or the previous van, we used to tow our little white car, yeah, and we still have the ability to do, to, that, to do that if you need want to. to, yeah, yeah. And I must admit, a lot of people have said, Oh, why would you, yeah, but um, it's not so frequent now because the van is that bit that smaller, smaller. Yeah. Um, yeah, not only it does mean you can park in more in smaller car parking spaces, widthwise, widthwise, widthwise we're the same width yeah. all the way down as the cab. Yeah. So uh, with coach built, yeah. they tend to flare out at, yeah. in, into the living area. Yeah. Um, this one doesn't, it's no. um, very slim. And you're, you're streamlined and you'll see from the inside that yeah. the, there's less space. Oh, you've got two, two cameras on the back there, haven't you? Is yeah, it? we've got a, a parking camera and, and a, rear view. a rear view camera. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's it. What Almost. make are those? Oh, unusual looking. Yeah, make. they come from VW. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And a part of the v, one of the VW packs. That's right. one thing about IH motorhomes. Yeah. Is that they do uh, provide you with a long list of options. Yeah. So you can um, just pick and choose the ones that you yeah. think suit you best. Right. Um, or you can, you know, just go crazy. Right. Okay. And you take the. Yeah. Uh, so your your Truma, Truma boiler vent. system. This yeah. is the uh, the boiler vent. Yeah. That's um, underneath one of the benches. We'll show you that inside. And then the usual lockable freshwater yeah. filler point. Yeah. Like that there. Mm -hmm. um, this section of the van um, the side washroom, I is guess. the washroom. Yeah. And so we've got two windows in the washroom. One above the toilet, and one above the wash basin. Right. Um, so it's quite a spacious little washroom. Yeah. And then um, the emptying point here. And then yeah, the usual electric hookup. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Waste emptying is fairly straightforward. We've got um, a drain point here yeah. with, a, with just a valve that you turn. Yeah. And that's your grey waste emptying point. Yeah. And then this is if you want to drain your fresh water. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's very likely we do that this time of year when we get home. It's so nice and simple, isn't it? Yeah, so it doesn't freeze. Yeah. And I notice okay. your mirrors. <laughs> your mirrors yeah. don't stick out that far. That's right. They're, they're, they're hugging the uh, the van yeah. um, because we don't have the the no. coach built no. um, tapering here. No. Yeah. 
That's about for it for the inside. I think you're going to have Sorry to show the, the inside uh, now because it's starting to rain. Ah, OK. All right. <laughs> Good old lakes weather. But you've got, I see you've got a status aerial on the top. We do. You've got yeah. solar panels on there? There's a 200 watt solar panel. Oh wow. Which um, fills the gap um, between the two roof skylights yeah. and, uh, and the TV aerial. So right. it literally fills the entire space. Right. Inside. Inside, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you're going to tell me all about the cab, aren't you? No. <laughs> you might do. <laughs> Yeah, so it's, uh, it's winter time, so the coats are hanging. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I kind of call this the front lounge, yeah. really. Yeah. Um, it's nice that we've had the little table made now, um, and that fits into um, the little socket there. Yeah, little socket on So that's on quite there. nice. You can just sit there with your tea, can't you? That's right, yeah. yeah. And we often, even um, when we're on a summer tour, we had the door open yeah. and this end. And of course, we could, if we wanted to, leave the bed made up down at the other end yeah. and just use this, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, but um, it's an extra seating area, and the, <laughs> the dogs claim this area, I must <laughs> yeah. admit. Yeah. So we, I, know, the, I know that problem. <laughs> the dog beds are down here, yeah. and yeah. we put them on the seats. Yeah. And of course, they, uh, yeah. if we go out, we just enclose them in this little area yeah. so they're comfortable yeah. here. And you've got the curtains across as well, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, we can we can bring the curtain across a rail that's uh, sort of uh, under here. Yeah. Um, or we have an external silver screen. Yeah. And an internal set yeah. as well. If, yeah. So we've got um, all scenario cover all scenarios. Yeah. Um, Let's have a look at the business. Yeah. End yeah. of the thing. The seats do swivel. We don't have to sit this way round to drive. <laughs> Which is a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got the push right back because yeah. that gives you much more space. space. You see. But um, so you've got a massive, great big touch screen there as well. Yeah. You, this so. is a media centre. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Um, if I put this on. Uh, Welcome to Volkswagen. Yes. Get that on the up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you get the, the DAB digital radio, yeah. you've got the satellite navigation. So that's all built and, in? Uh, yeah. yeah, all built in. Oh, it's a um, fabulous screen, isn't it? And uh, I'll turn the sound down for copyright reasons. Yeah. Um, and the navigation, uh, once, it's, the top once it's come alive. Yeah. Um, we found that quite good. Well, we're still a van, we're still commercial and in size. Yeah. And so we tend to still use our a caravan and motorhome club Garmin system. Yeah, yeah. And um, we put that in the centre. We're just starting yeah. to steam up a little. It's yeah. warm in here now. Yeah. But we put that in the centre there yeah. with the sat-nav. And you saw the cameras outside. Um, it's a familiar looking rear screen there. Yeah, yeah. that clips to the, what was the mirror. Yeah. Um, and all, okay. it's all, in, the wires are all integral. And, and you put your dash cam underneath. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, there we are. You can tell yeah. we're at... Uh, there we are, Methought Phil. Yeah, or I can... Oh, that's nice. You can do it with a dial yeah, as well. Do with that, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we are. Yeah. Picking up other people's uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah. We've got quite a few yeah. people around us. Yeah. So, um, climate control. Um, there is, uh, yeah. There's um, uh, uh, cab air conditioning, yeah. and uh, you've got the, um, the the heat and cool here. Yeah. Uh, sp high speed fan it goes right up. Uh, really, really, yeah. Yeah. Really fresh if you put it on yeah. six. Um, and then the, the directional, um, so from screen yeah. to face to feet and yeah. around. Right. And um, you've got auto stop start, I think, as well. Auto it? stop start. And the all yeah. important auto, <laughs> here. auto stop start off button. That's right, your auto stop, stop is there. Yeah. Um, air conditioning, um, recirc, yeah. um, traction control, yeah. and um, we've got parking sensors all the way around. I didn't mention those outside, right. but the centre, they're, they're front, rear, yeah. and down the sides. Right. Is there a camera so, system um, built into the screen then? Um, or is it, that's on your screen here, isn't it? Sorry, yeah. Yeah, it's on there, isn't it? Yeah. The, the, the sensors around the van come up on this screen. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, I can only demonstrate that by starting the, yeah, the, that's right. the ignition. Yeah, that's right. But um, yeah, it's uh, eight-speed automatic, it, yeah. and uh, obviously cruise control as well. Cruise control is built in on the steering yeah. column, yeah, yeah, on the steering wheel, yeah. and the and the steering wheel has got all of the, all the controls, know, controls on it. On it. Yeah. yeah, I might take a shot of that. Yeah, we can uh, move later. the chair for you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and right, that's uh, good. Yeah, so that's the uh, front end of the van. Nice to drive. Lovely. Yeah, yeah. really comfortable. Yeah. quite quiet. Um, yeah. 
it is diesel, so yeah. Yeah, you, you, know, you, diesel. Pick up, yeah. you pick up the noise of a yeah. diesel uh, unit. Yeah. We like the pockets and um, yeah. you know the, the for your maps and uh, all the information about our tours go in that yeah. one. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah. That's good. That's it. Good. Somewhere, yeah. somewhere for your jackery down here. Oh yes, good place <laughs> for that, isn't it? Because there's a yeah. little socket down there for charging next to oh, the dog right. bowl. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, we can uh, charge it from yeah. the sockets. There, there are some USB and 12 volt sockets yeah. down on the dashboard and at the top as well. Okay. So there's plenty so of power. Plenty of socketry. Yeah. And all your controls then, up uh, here. Yep, that's right. Um, and that's for your water and your pump and uh, your battery. A battery, yeah. Yeah, I think our friend Alison has the same control panel. Yeah. Very similar looking. Yeah. Is that a whale control panel? I'm not sure what make it is. No. I have to be honest. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm sure, it's the same. same. The electrics are all in the box behind here. Yeah. Behind it, Oscar. So if I, I'll show you. There. So it's boot. Can you see it's quite compact, so we make good. We make use of all the space with a with our brush and dustpan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, our uh, triangle, our yeah. safety triangle, and busy vests in triangle there. Of doom. But yeah. that's the electrics in there, and the um, pulsing green light is for the solar panels. There's 200 watts of solar on the roof, as I yeah. said earlier. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Nothing in there for you, Oscar. It's not Oscar's cupboard, is it? No. No, not that yeah. one. Um, <laughs> Lots That's of when space. you get into trouble. Mid van, um, yeah. as you come in, there's lots of space yeah. here. And we, these are general storage here. Yeah. Um, clearly, we've got the, the TV aerial yeah. um, adjustment yeah. and my hats, yeah. most important. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Sue's handbag. Um, the toaster is in there, and there's a few yeah. other things. Yeah. Uh, dog food um, yeah. and so on. Um, and dog coats. And he wants his toys, I think, don't you? Oh, right. Okay. That's your toy box. That's what the request is. Yeah. There we are. That's it. I'll put the jackery back. <laughs> Good boy. Uh, wardrobe in here and the table storage as well. Yeah. So uh, my coats are clearly in here. Yeah. There's a big table this side. Yeah. A little table that side. Oh, so you've got three and, three uh, tables? We yeah. could, we, we've got two tables. This one yeah. and the... Uh, um, so the little one goes on the right yeah. and the large one on the left. Okay. Um, okay. We always pack them away when we're yeah. when we're driving. Although I think yeah. you probably could leave this one at the back. Um, they're fairly secure. All right. Shall we go to the kitchen? Yeah. Yeah. I'll move around. So yeah. everything's pretty compact in the van, as you can imagine, yeah. with, a, with a smaller van. Yeah. And uh, this is our kitchen. Although we do have the ability to lift up the little flappy table. That's quite a long, well. long flappy table, isn't Shall it? I demonstrate it. Draw on there. Yeah. Because that goes all the way across. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you can actually use that as a little coffee table when you're sitting in these mm -hmm. seats as well. I have actually brought the seat forward and put yeah. the laptop on there. And oh right, nice little bit of editing space. So yeah, 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 that does work. But if you're doing that and someone wants to go outside, you're That's in trouble. That, unless they're very small. <laughs> <laughs> unless they're very small, yeah, of course. It's not a problem. Yeah. So we, um, we have a, a combination oven and grill this uh, side. Uh, Probably familiar to uh, vanners and camper vanners. Yeah. Um, and that uh, is good for doing the toast, anything from toast to a, yeah. a roasty. Yeah. Uh, cupboard below, ideal for pots and pans. Yeah. And then your usual sink, um, just here with, with our collapsing bowl. Yeah. Uh, mixer tap. And the glass top comes down as well. Yeah. Okay, I'll pop that on there for now. Okay. And then uh, we, we always do our teas and coffees on yeah, a tray. That's, so my, that's my tea there, apparently. Case, yeah. case of any spillages. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and this, this here, we think, well, where's the hob? Yeah. Um, when we're... Uh, when we're sort of parked up, we often have this cover on. Yeah. And it provides us with extra workspace. Yeah. But um, if we're um, not uh, connected to the grid, if we're off grid, we wouldn't be using this kettle. No. We would have a, so a gas level. kettle. So yeah. I'll just move that out of the way for the purpose of this. And Sue's fresh water. And a tea making tray. Yeah. So I'm very domesticated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or well trained. Isn't it? <laughs> well trained, yeah. And uh, IH made this nice cover for us, yeah. so um, we can use, we put that to one side oh, right. and we have the okay. uh, induction hob 
and yeah. two gas rings. And that's to stop it being scratched then, plastic? Yeah, it's just a silicon pad, right, okay. which uh, you can use your pans on there yeah. and not scratch the glass oh, top. Oh, right, that's clever. All right. Are you right, yeah. And the induction, Boy. because it's mag magnetism, yeah. it, uh, it doesn't... Do you know how, what, how many watts it uses? Or is that a... Uh, it's a really leading question, I'm not sure. No. Okay. Um, but it's, well, it's pretty answers fast. Answers below. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. Um, I'll pop the uh, cover back. Yeah, that's provided by IH, the cover. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, okay. we did ask them if they could make it. We'd seen yeah. other vans with them. Yeah. And we asked if they could make it to match the uh, yeah. worktop. Okay. So that's fine on there, even when you're driving along. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, the fridge. It's um, a Dometic fridge and uh, oh, it's tidy in here. Yeah. Freezer compartment. Yeah. That's right, yeah. Well, and the producer uh, space got the carrots in the top bit. Oh, yeah, all the, <laughs> all the good stuff on show. Yeah. yeah. Nicely too, don't That's they? right. Yeah, you don't want your carrots going rubbery. The only thing that we didn't um, weren't able to specify, we were a bit late coming forward with it, was the automatic oh, fuel right. change. Okay. But um, we're comfortable with. Um, yeah, we, we, we just just have to remember when it alarms yeah. to to put it on to battery when we're driving yeah. and turn the gas off. Um, so lots of drawers. Um, the office yeah, nice, really drawer. Nice, well-made drawers, aren't they? Yeah. 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 There's a there's a feel of quality about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, they're all. Is that what attracted you to IH when you I th first I saw them? I think so. Yeah. I yeah. mean, everything's pretty solid in here. Yeah. Um, when you're driving along, it, it, there's, there's you know the usual motorhome rattles yeah. and bangs. Yeah, yeah. And we were astonished really at just how quiet it is back here. Yeah. Um, it is hand built in the factory, yeah. although they use machine tools, these modern machine yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. tools to cut all the yeah. um, boards and things, and and they're all made in in the local factory. So yeah, um, so they don't send away for their drawers and handles and everything. I, I think they're all done by IH. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd have to check that, but um, yeah. yeah, and the bottom one is bigger. Um, so you got uh, room for tins. Yeah, and there's there's really quite a lot of weight in there. Um, yeah. But the drawer's made for it, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah so in this cupboard, in the with twin doors on this one, yeah. and uh, uh, open both doors, and in we go to the okay. washroom. Okay. Now this has taken up quite a bit of the midsection of the van. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we, the thing we like about it is that some camper vans come with a drop-down sink. Yeah, we've got. You've actually got a fixed sink. Yeah, yeah. What I call a little dog bowl. Yeah, but it's yeah. um, it's really good. The shower tray is the, in the centre here. Yeah, we've and got, you have got a separate shower. That's right. Yeah. and we uh, have a little trigger on the back of the yeah. uh, shower here, and the hose comes out. Yeah, like so. And there's a um, a mixer tap with that yeah. as well. Yeah. We, we did have the option of um, having a bracket on the side here, yeah. but we decided that we would keep knocking it, so yeah. We've, yeah. we've just got it. Yeah, yeah we just tucked out of the way, isn't it? Tucked out of the way, yeah. yeah. You've got your yeah. Thetford loo there. That's right. Yeah, and, and some, some more storage. storage. Yeah. We've fixed a little expanding rail here to hang the towels yeah. on when they're wet. Yeah. And as you can see, the two windows. Yeah, you've got the hanging rail there as well above the sink and another little locker. That's right, yeah. This one we bought as a, an extra from Amazon. Okay. But they're the uh, yeah. usual sort of uh, toothbrushes and things. Away. And some more storage under here as well for, for cleaning good. products. Yeah. yeah. And a uh, fit for bathroom cleaner. That's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And an extractor fan. There is, yeah. This is quite noisy, but it's really effective. Oh, wow. yeah. A little light on. Yeah. That's good. And uh, you'll notice if I put the other lights on that they're all concealed LEDs. Yeah. Yeah. I'll um, probably get a load of flickering. You on might get well. some strobing. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. It, it does light it up well though. Yeah. And uh, there's a feature right down the van actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. With. Uh, with the lighting, yeah. and we have various points. The, the, there's so many light switches. Yeah. That, um, yeah. So you can use, use yeah, okay with that one? Yeah. Yeah. So this is our lounge come bedroom come dining area. Right. Um, the television is concealed in this cupboard. And That's neat, you can actually it? pull it out and angle it. Yeah. And, and this obviously clips yeah. back. 
flip hand got all these wires. <laughs> Technology corner. There. So that just clips back, got a clip on here. Oh. So that's out the way then. Yeah. So that's quite nicely hidden. Yeah. You don't have to dust it so much either. <laughs> 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 and then we've got the usual three pin three socket. Pin. Yeah. yeah, you've got some USB, USB and, some 12 and the 12 volt. volt, we'll use that. Yeah, the your trimmer, trimmer heating. controls, yeah. And then we've got light switches yeah. everywhere. What's the little dimmers? With dimmers. Oh, dimmers, right, okay. So you can dim them. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, whatever that's you like. Nice, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I quite like having there. the light one, because they're a bit more yeah. restful. That's it. The cupboards, we've got cupboards all round. They yeah. do hold a lot. So this one, we've got electrical bits. They look quite deep as well. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Uh, uh, they do go back quite a, quite a long way, and they're continuous, yeah. which is quite handy. And then they've all got this like this felt lining. Yeah, so you don't have any trouble nice. reaching them, then, no? No, no. So that's Trev's clothes <laughs> cupboard. <laughs> uh, this is the what the bed linen cupboard. That's the important that's one. That's the yeah. important one. That goes back a long way. Yeah. That's quite deep. Speakers at the back. The speakers. Yeah. yeah. Nice big sunroof above you. Yeah. yeah. And that's a wind up. Right. It winds up yeah. as well, so yeah. that's great. And then obviously this is my my clothes cupboard in there. Yeah, yeah. Go and too then deep, these are into that. They, these are <laughs> <laughs> these are all nice. They're all yeah. they're all continuous. So yeah. that's all I'll that's all right. to do with the kitchen. That's, that's, yeah. I like this that's all in one yeah. area. Then yeah. Tell um, me about the seats. The seats. This lifts up. Yeah. So we've got storage underneath yeah. the whole of that area. Yeah, you were using um, them as single beds, you said. You? Yeah. Yeah. So we we just take all these cushions out, yeah. all the ones around the edge. Yeah. Um, and then we lay, just put I put I lay that way now. Yeah. So I have me pillow there, and yeah. we've got duvet, and I'll do I'll duvet toppers there. Yeah. And then Trev sleeps on that oh, one. So they're both the same length, aren't they're, they? The, yeah, the they seats. are. Yeah. You can pull these slats out if you want to make it into a double. Into a double. They just yeah. pull into the middle. Okay. So, and then you just move the cushions around, you just put these upright on the ends and yeah. just pull them together or turn right. them around. Right. You've got access up there to, the, to, to the, garage. The, the garage. Yeah. And then half of this bench, you've got storage underneath because you've got the Truma heater there. Yeah. And then that half is yeah. for storage. Yeah. And that's all lined with that same felt, so right. it's well insulated. Yeah. And these are the lights that we had added. You can, you can have them like that yeah. or you can have them as a spotlight. So they're, they're quite quite yeah. nifty because they're yeah. nice if you want a little light on, yeah, yeah. not keeping the, light, keeping yeah. the other person awake. Oh, so that's oh, a yeah, that's yeah. the light in itself, and then yeah. you have the spotlight. The and spotlight then you can, you can. If you hold it. Trev um, showed me that you can make it that's dim it. Yeah. like that, and you can hold it down and make them dim it. Can't you, Trev? Can you do it. Yeah, bring the spotlight on. That's it. Now put your finger on it. There it goes. So you can dim it. And it dims, yeah. Yeah. It's all very clever, isn't it? Yeah. So that was an addition. Yeah. Very we've nice. got one each side. Which is good. So we've got lots of visibility all the way around, all these especially this window. So you've got we really the dogs, like it So that I've we got can dogs, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we have the table in here, we've got another hole here, this just lifts out. You put the pole in. Yep. And the table top. Oh, we've right. got a rectangular one. Uh, and we've got a little round one which we featured yeah, the in front. the front there. Would you like it? Um, is there anything else? Hold on, get the table. Hold on to the pole, so. Go on it. There you go. So that's the table. That's oh, it. So that's brilliant, isn't it? Can, yeah. We, we, we sit and have our dinner on there actually. Yeah. We have yeah. A plate yeah, yeah. there and there. Yeah. Mm. We just find it so much easier because you can yeah. move around it, whereas the other one takes up quite a lot of space. Ta get, if there's four of you, we no. use it. No. Tables are such a big important thing mm. in motor homes, aren't they? Yeah. I love that table in, in there. Because yeah. it's easier to eat your food off yeah. it, isn't it, than mm. having it on your lap. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what we find anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You put your tea cups on there. Yeah. Um, Anything else you need to mention? No. Can't no. think. We've got lights so all on. Yeah, it's in the ceiling. That. Yeah, no, it's nice. It's very comfortable. It is. Here. I mean, we're yeah. always mm. impressed with the IH when we saw mm. them. I think we actually sat in this. Quite cozy. Layout, didn't yeah. We? Yeah. And I, yeah. I sort of like the drawers as well. Yeah. They're really, yeah. really it's substantial. Yeah, they feel solid on that, yeah. And we put loads in the bottom one. I mm. think the thing that we um, 
uh, noticed most when we downsized was, you know, although you've got room to do everything we did in the other van, I, you know, entertain and for, we can sit four people in here, everything is that much more compact. Yeah. Mm. Um, you have to be more organised. So you have to be very yes. organised. Mm. And yeah. we leave things at home if we know we don't, yeah. don't need them. Yeah. Mm. Um, mm. So it is... Because you know, it's narrow was... in in the gangway there. If, if yeah. Trev's up that end <laughs> and I want to go up that end, we have to you have to step back, or he has mm. to come down here, and then I go up there. You know, you can't both walk about no, no. freely. But then you expect it really if you're going mm. for a narrow yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. car. That's but then you can drive. take it more places, and yeah. that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 We have yeah. really that's what we found. Challenged the van into some as long as you've got enough length. Mm. Is that you can park it in a car parking yeah. spot because yeah. yeah. that's yeah. within the and you can go on the motorways when it's just less than six is it six six the little mm -hmm. arrows we can go along you on can those go along lines that, oh yeah yeah. As well. yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah it's the width normally isn't it yeah. so yeah. the issue yeah. In most places yeah never mind the length it's the width yeah. <laughs> but it is you can't get through something no. I think the uh, you know the cruising speed at, at seventy. If you you know, you know if you're on the dual carriageway, you feel comfortable driving sort of over sixty miles an hour. Whereas in a large coach built, yeah. we're always a little bit concerned the stability and then yeah. if you get a side wind. Yeah, yeah. Um, not so much with a panel van. You know, it's much more yeah. um, car like. Yeah, yeah. Think, yeah. And if you haven't seen Bushcats Channel, Bushcats Camping Channel then why not? <laughs> Link down below, have a look, check them out. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye then. Yeah, so by now you probably guessed we were at Trout... Hang on, do that again. So by now you've probably guessed we were at Methot Fell with Trev and Sue. And it's... Not a... many blue vans on the No, no. Um, we're seeing more colours with yeah. The VWs yeah. And some of the um, bank conversions. Yeah. And and just on time. Here's so. Yeah. Yeah.